Captain, we have tracked the fugitives Minsk and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Ayr. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss harbor these men? I have no idea, Gerard. But the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg brutes surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the brutes seem to be passive, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the brutes attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. I see. It is a risk we will need to take. Minsk represents a considerable threat to our agenda and must be eliminated. Captain? You will focus your attack against the Rebel Command Center in the middle of the Protoss encampment. That must be where Mengsk and Raynor are hiding. We will deploy our own Valkyrie frigates and tighten up our air defenses. Vice Admiral Stu Koff and Lieutenant Duran will provide cover for your forces and ensure that no external threats interfere with your mission. are inciting the Zerg to attack. Be prepared for anything, Captain. Job finished. Strange, Vice Admiral. My scanners don't show any Zerg at all. Maybe you have a technical problem with your equipment. Lieutenant, if these Zerg get through, we'll never be able to capture Minsk. I'm giving you a direct order to return to your position and reinforce my troops. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but it seems your signal's fading out. I couldn't make out that last part. I'll try to re-establish contact later. Duran! Captain, your position will be overrun by superior Zerg numbers within 15 minutes. I suggest you retreat back to the fleet immediately. Inform Admiral Dugal that I have a personal matter to take care of. Yes, 
is a language. 